right there on top of the moon. We could sit and do nothing. I wish we were both to just fly away. I don't wanna care. It's being I'm good alone. I'll be okay, miss you like an old friend. Too scared now, thinking I should call up a man. I think it's hard how we always wait another day. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. Follow me on GK Zim. For those who haven't followed, please follow and subscribe to my channel on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Today, I'm in Alex Park. I'm just going to visit Botanical Gardens. See, Botanical Gardens, they got so, so much to offer in terms of trees. It's a garden. I think it was done in the early eight, uh, 1800s or 1900. It's in Harare, Zimbabwe. Situated in Alex Park. So let's go and see the National Botanical Gardens. Right, so I'm near. Let's see how it goes. National Botanic Garden. So they've got plants of Zimbabwe, educational tools, book functions, educational center, leisure walks, picking picnics, restaurants, and stuff like that. So I can see a lot of people are here. Let's see, I'm looking for parking now. Let's see. Botanic Gardens, parking three dollars, adults two dollars, child dollar, a dog dollar as well. Mm. Come to the National Botanical Gardens, we are local. As yeah, let's see how it goes. Let me look for parking. Taking a walk at Harare Botanical Gardens. So Opposite me, there is a uh, the city center over there, and also St. George's College over there as well. Right, so we've got so many churches that meet here as well, and uh, this is a Saturday morning in Zimbabwe. I think. Let me go see. They say this is a desert house. The one which is in front of me. There we are. This one here. It was designed as a desert. So it's a shed which mimics a desert. So all these plants here uh, sort of, you know, plants which Normally, um, you know, loves to be in the desert. Huh? So they say this is a collection of plants from areas of northern Namibia. Plants include species of, hey, the names there are difficult to even pronounce, huh? Pechbodemia, Myrobamesis, Cypostomia, Canibora, you know, all these trees here that you find in the desert. Wow, so this shed that was, you see here, you know, they created a mini desert using a shed. Wow. So you see all those grasses there. They produce heat and heat the ground so that it creates, you know, a setup which looks like a desert, you know? The bottom will be like a desert. All those uh, glasses that you see there. 
Wow. So they've created an artificial desert here at Bot Botanical Gardens. Can you believe it? So this is an artificial desert that was created here at Botanical Gardens. So it says Zimbabwe, this is a collection from the arid regions and localities of Zimbabwe, including the species of Kamifora, Euphobia, Aloy, Aloy and Sesamato, Sesamatamisis. <laughs> you know, the, the names are so difficult to pronounce eh? of these plants that you see here. Right, let's go. So this should be tree number 108. All the trees are leveled here. They're all leveled. I think there's so many churches they meet here as well. So they've got a tea room here as well. A tea room. So this is a tea room. So if you want to have tea here in the morning, when you visit the botanical gardens, I've got a nice setup here for tea. And that's the kitchen. So you sell tea here? Yeah? That's morning, morning, how are you? Good morning, how are you? So if you want to have tea, you can come here and have your cup of coffee at the Botanical Gardens. A nice setup here. Yeah? Very beautiful. Wow. Let's go and see the trees here. So all the trees here, they're all leveled. Eh? And there's a nice tree that I see in front of me as well, yeah. Wow. So if you happen to be here in Arare, Please visit the Botanical Gardens here in Zimbabwe. Look at this tree here. Wow. Very beautiful. So here, I think they wanted to create an artificial dam and uh, I think they must be loading the water. See here, they're loading water here. Yeah? The water is going through. Let me check it out here. Yeah? The horse pipe. I don't know, it's going to take, I don't know how many days, you know, to fill this dam here. It's an artificial dam here. Yeah? At the botanical gardens wow so somebody came up with an idea uh, i think they put something like a poly you train uh, plastic paper and created an artificial dam so i think it's gonna take a while for them to fill you know this dam here you can see water going down there they're using all spine wow so there's some churches here, maybe probably their seventh day. They are doing, you know, church. Some they are doing all sorts of activities here. So the water is getting in. You can see, well, probably it's going to take some days or even a month or two months to fill this dam here. So next time I'll come and have a look and see 
whether they've managed to fill this dam here. Artificial dam, yeah, but botanical gardens. Wow. So this is a clever way of uh, making a dam. So probably they dug all the way, all the way up to that section. There is a big, big section. And then they're filling water. Wow, this is amazing. So I think they've used this type of shit to create the dam. So there's so many churches here. Yeah? So many churches here. Yeah? I don't know where to start. Let me go that way. So oh, there are a lot of people here. They're all doing all sorts here. And uh, this is like a mini forest. Eh? With all trees. Oh, this is amazing. Right, look at this. It's like a natural forest, huh? Eh? And look, look at that tree that I see just in front of me. So as I, as I have told you, all the trees which are here, they're all labeled. And they've got numbers. They've got identification numbers. So this tree number one, huh? tree number one. Wow. This one here, it says number one. Wow. There's the road that goes to the state house. This road here goes to the state house and that's the Royal Sports Club. So nature, you know, I love nature. So many sounds that I hear. You know, some of them, they are bad. Making noise as well, yeah? Wow, this is nice. So let me go see that tree there. There's another big tree that I see over there. And, uh, So this tree number 10, it's called the Adotia Digidata Baobab Muyu. In the valley they call it Umkomo. Tropical Africa and Madagascar, you find all these trees here. It's like a Baobab, tree number 10. Wow. For those who have just joined, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK. Follow me on GKZM. 
just took a visit to the Harare Botanic Gardens here in Alexander Park. Look at this tree. Wow. This tree is beautiful. And that one too as well. Wow. So in front of me, I think these are offices and it says the Ministry of Agriculture National Herba, Herba, Herbarium. So I think it's something to do with trees. Eh? Those who can school me, it's a National Herbarium and Botanic Garden. Look at all these trees. Wow. So they've got an office here. I think if you want to start trees, you can come here. I think they've got books inside there and a library. Wow, this is nice. Yeah, I can see, see some books there. I think it's the National Archives. With all the information about Zimbabwe and the trees that we find in Zim. You can see all those books there. And probably is in Akai. Wow. And there's a big tree. Look at this tree here. Huge tree. That we see. The jungle in the city. GKZM at Botanic Gardens in Arari, Zimbabwe. You love to see nature. Right. First class encounter with nature in, this, in Arari, Zimbabwe. Get out of this. Just in front of me is St. George's College. My son attended St. George's College from Form 1 to Form 6. There we are. So I've been told because of botanic gardens, you know, the guys at St. George's there, they used to see, you know, pythons. You know, those big pythons, they used to go there as well and uh, visit the school. Wow. So as I move, I think there's some sports activities which are happening at uh, St. George's College as well. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is GK, follow me on GK there. Today I'm here at Botanical Gardens, just took a visit. And uh, it's a big, big, huge garden. Right? And uh, I think we'll need a day to finish it. So, just in front of me, there's St. George's College there. And uh, I can hear noise of uh, you know, school uh, kids they're playing rugby. And, uh, you know, in Zimbabwe, you know, sometimes you'd be surprised with what, you know, uh, places like botanical gardens and uh, people they don't normally visit so you gotta visit and uh, see what's happening here in Arari, Zimbabwe and actually you also can exit. so just hear the sound of nature nature, nature, nature you know you can hear all, sorts, all kinds of birds here They're making noise wow look at that that's St. George's College over there. Let's go and have a look. St. George's boys. That's St. George's College. Well, they got a tournament here. They got about 10 schools. They got a 
contesting in this football tournament. Wow. Let's go. So I want to do a 360 here in the middle of Limpopo, low valve section here at Botanic Gardens and this is the section, it's like a 360 and uh, this kind of trees that you see, you find them in the low veld in Limpopo, wow, cheers, see you in the next, look how thick it is, eh? very thick. And very scary too. Let's go. So one thing I've realized, you know, trees are life. Let's save trees. Let's uh, plant trees. You know, from trees we get oxygen as well. You know, for you guys to breathe nicely, you need oxygen. And we gotta conserve trees. Eh? And this is tree number 103. It's called, it, it is called poison pond. Murira Nyanze in Debele it calls Umujoana. So I remember when I visited the uh, Mufakos, there is a street called Murira Nyanze, and this is tree number 103 here at the Botanic Gardens. So this is Murira Nyanze tree, eh? and we got a road which is called Murira Nyanze in Mufakos. If you guys have watched my videos, this is the tree that is called Murila Nyenze. Wow. So nature speaks to you as well. We take names from nature and put them in the streets as well. And this is Acacia, Nigra Sands. Nob Thorn, Muku. In the village it calls Umkaya Omthope. Wow. Nice, eh? So this tree that you see here, Normally you find these trees here as you go to Nyanga in the Eastern Islands. So this tree number 34. So this section here, they say it's called uh, Combritashia section. So sort of like Acacia trees. So I don't know how to pronounce this name here, but uh, I can try. You know, most of these names are difficult to pronounce. But anyway, I'll try. It says Combratasia section. So this is the section. Hey, look at this tree. Wow. This tree is amazing. It's like a canopy. Look at it. Just on top. Let me increase my... Check out this tree, guys. Huh? Very beautiful. So these trees, you normally find them as you go to Nyanga. Yeah, it's like a canop, like a roof top, eh? and that's the inside. Wow, 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 wow. So this is the tree that I was talking about. Eh? Look at this beautiful tree. Eh? Wow, this is nice. Eh? So just in front, uh, front of me. It's a beautiful tree, sort of like an acacia tree. Normally these trees, you normally find them when you are in Nyanga. And uh, these are beautiful trees, huh? Yeah, it's like a canopy. Wow. This is amazing. Let's go. So this is my shadow, yeah? My shadow. That's just the shadow of me here. So normally probably if you run away from sometimes you run away from your shadow. And this is my shadow. And this is me. Let's go shadow. That's me then. Never trust anybody. Even your shadow. Sometimes you run away from your shadow. Tree number 52. That's tree number 52, guys. So 
So if you guys want to have pictures for your weddings, and uh, you can come here and have nice pictures here <coughs> for your weddings eh? at the Botanic Gardens. Look at this one here. It's called Serocasia Biria Ma Marura. Oh, this is Marura, Mupura. So this is Mupura too, yeah? For those who know Mupura. In Debele, they say, they call it uh, Umgani, Umgani. Wow. And look at that one there. Wow, this is huge, guys. Huh? I don't know the name of this thing. I gotta find out. This one here. Tree number 41. So this is tree number 41. Wow. Very nice, huh? Look at it. Branches all over. It's got a huge trunk, eh? Big, big trunk. People, they write here. Scale. Someone has written here. Love. Caleb. Zikawa, Rua, Tafi. Tonde. And uh, Sandra. I think these are love beds, eh? They've written here. Probably they are married. Wow. Yeah, the cameras as well. The cameras, cameras all over here. This is the solar. The solar panel and camera. And also, it must be a microphone. Eh? So, oh, now I understand why they did put this camera and solar panel and sound. So probably, you know, during the, the quiet times, you know, probably you hear, they'll be tapping the sounds of, uh, of birds. Eh? You know, let me be quiet for now. Can you listen to the sounds of the birds? So that's why they have to put uh, this speaker over there and the camera. Wow, and the solar panel. Just to listen. So the sounds of the bed. Wow. Botani Gardens in that other zoo. And this is tree. It's a big leaf fever tree. Candifora. Wow. All this here. Just in front of me, there's another tree here again. Let me have a look at it. Uh, it. And that's tree number four. Tree number four. It's called Kaya. I thought I thought TS. The names are difficult to pronounce. Big tree here as well. It's like I'm in the middle of the jungle. Eh? Subscribe to my channel, Road to 1000, guys. Support me. Did you guys in? Roll to a thousand subscribers. Wow. That's tree number two or three. Number two or three. 
There we are. Very big tree. Wow. So this section here, this section here, they call it low altitude forest. In partnership with the National Botanic Gardens, they may, they may trees. The may, the, sorry, the, the, the my trees trust is helping to restore and maintain the low origin forest section. The part of the botanic gardens is modeled on the Orina Makuru Pin forest. Common species in this section are the red Mahogan and other names there I can't pronounce and the Mujajaira. So what's happening here, this is a low altitude forest. So in partnership with the National Botanic Gardens, the May Tree Trust is helping to restore and maintain this low altitude section of forest. So this is a Mukurupini forest. Eh? Wow. And they used to have a waterfall here. Yeah? Don't know what happened to it. Crazy. That is another section. Sort of like a forest, eh? Let me get in. And I have the feeling that I come, I think I come through this section here. Yeah? But anyway, let me go have a few. Wow. It's like you're in the jungle, huh? In Amazon. See you in the next part bay for now. So I'm gonna do a 360 in this middle of the botanic gardens and uh, show you the trees that are here. And uh, this is the 360. See you in the next. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel at GKZ. I think I'm sure you guys will like my video here at the botanical gardens. Been a good day and please follow like and subscribe to my channel I'll give you more content road to 1000 subscribers thank you for your support guys see you in the next on my way to 1000 subscribers so a lot of churches are here a lot of groups are here these botanic gardens so this is another tree again this one is called Fiscus psychomoras so that you see here that's uh, tree number 184 it's 184 it's a beautiful tree it goes up and the roots they actually go down and uh, it's a strong tree as we can see very strong tree with that deeper root that goes down wow so all these trees are the same huh? right i think i'm done see you in the next gk zim gk zim to the world Look at that. Wow, the sky is blue. And I'm sure the heavens are blue as well. And uh, it's bright. Look at the sun. And it's winter in Zimbabwe. Wow, that's nice.
And this is uh, what we call Phoenix Reclinat. Wow, all these names of trees. They're here, guys. Well, lots and lots of names of trees here. And uh, you can't, I think you need a day to finish them. Huh? They've got a, actually a coffee, a coffee shop here. Yeah? Very beautiful coffee shop. Just in front of me here. Yeah? That's the coffee shop. Right, on my way out of Botanic Garden of Harare. This is uh, tree number 160, my organ. Another section as well. Good afternoon, I think it's afternoon, wherever you're watching me from, from America, from England, from Australia, from South Africa, in Zimbabwe. Today, I've just done Harare Botanical Garden. It's a botanic garden full of different trees that are found in Zimbabwe. So please, come and visit Harare Botanic Gardens here in Harare, Zimbabwe. And uh, you can actually have your photo, weddings photos taken here. And uh, you can have uh, parties here, church parties, functions, and stuff like that. You can actually have teas in the morning as well. So pay them a visit. I think they're about 5K away from the city center. So if you want to have your weddings, photos taken, you can come here. If you want to have church functions, you can come here as well. See you in the next. Subscribe to my channel, GKZM. Proud to 1,000 subscribers. Cheers, guys. See you. Just coming out of uh, Arare Botanic Garden. So the road in front of me, that's 50 Street Extension. Huh? So I'm going to the State House. Okay. This is the Botanic Gardens, eh? that's 50 Street Extension and uh, National Botanic Gardens, they open 6 in the morning to close 6 in the evening as well. So it's all about plants of Zimbabwe, educational tours, book functions, educational center, leisure walks, picnics and there's a restaurant as well. So I'm actually going into 50 Street Extension. So, so on 50 Street Extension, there is Royal Sports Club, Golf Club. And this is the Golf Club here. This is the golf course. Attitude and effort will determine your success in anything. Believing in yourself is half the battle. Every day you are given a new opportunity to become even better. Are you taking advantage of the chances you are given? Get out there and get it done. Push to achieve 1% more each day. That is the true key to success.